I am here in Yan Fulila, a village 300 nice kilometers south of Bamako in the country of Mali. And I'm visiting one of the most exciting programs in the right to play world. It's called the Jam Suka program, which means child welfare or child protection. In the Jam Suka program, they're focused on child marriage, child labor in the gold mine, also begging and female genital mutilation. It's exceptional work that they're doing here, and I look forward to sharing some of that with you soon. Hello, I'm here at Yen Fulila District. These are some of the artisanal mines where Right to Play has been working. I'm very proud to be able to say that over the last year, the last 12 months, we've identified 752 children, about 50% girls, 50% boys, who we've gotten out of these mines, which are extraordinarily dangerous, and back into school. Uh, we should all be very proud that we were able to accomplish this. I can tell you I've never been to a mine like this before. It's exceptionally dangerous. No child should ever have to spend one day of their life, let alone months or years, working in these dangerous conditions. Ça va bien, it's very nice to meet you. What is your name? My name is Imod Bojalo. Oh, I know that you were working in the gold mines very recently. Can you tell me about that experience? Yeah. You're not working in the gold mine anymore. Can you tell me how that happened? Do you like to be in school? And what is your favorite subject? And what are your dreams and your hopes? When you graduate from school, what do you want to do? We're just finishing up a play day here in Yanfulila village. The entire community came out, mothers, fathers, the local leadership, the chief, and all of the children from the village. And we focused on child protection. We played different games, teaching kids about how to protect themselves, how to protect their friends, and teaching the parents about what we can do to help keep children safe. I'm just finishing my visit to Yan Fulila traditional mines. It's impacted me more than I thought. The conditions here are worse than I thought. Uh, again, no child should have to ever spend a day of their life here. Uh, they should be in school learning, and, and it's great that Right to Play is making that happen. <laughs> 